Hello, Sophia. Salut, and welcome back on my YouTube channel. We are in Monaco. It's so amazing to be here, seriously. Oh, I love this city, country, and I love this track. Um, it's Friday evening now. I just had an interview with Sky Germany in the F1 paddock, or actually on a Steg. I don't know what Steg is called in English, but like you think the thing which goes in the water, you know? And um, yeah, well, I'm here already since Tuesday evening. Actually, Jan came this morning, yeah, yesterday evening, so we couldn't film everything. But yesterday we had free practice and it's sunny the whole weekend, but 10 minutes before our free practice session, it started to rain really badly. It's the first time for me in Monaco, but still I was like top 10 the whole time actually in the wet. So it was super good for our conditions. So I was actually really happy. Um, in the last minutes, it actually dried up. So in the end, we finished P19, but we are always like top 15 at least. So I was really happy with yesterday, but then my engine blew up because, you know, the F3 paddock is kind of on the opposite side of Monaco. So it blew up, we had to change it, and that caused some issues for us in quality today, which makes us start from last, or not last, but like third last in the race tomorrow and on Sunday. So super frustrating, super annoying, especially after yesterday's free practice session. But how everything looked today and how the paddock looks, you can see now. And yeah, I'm gonna have full food now because I actually lost three kilos since Melbourne and I'm super hungry. So I will get something to eat and I'll see you guys tomorrow for the first race here in Monaco. And seriously, the whole setup for a three is not that nice, but the track is insane. So see you tomorrow. Wonderful good morning from Monaco. <laughs> so it's Saturday, it's sunny and blue sky and we are having a race now. Yeah, starting P28, so not the best starting position for Monaco Grand Prix expert actually because it's gonna be messy. It's gonna be super messy um, and overtaking is kind of impossible. So we'll see, I hope that some stuff is gonna happen. We will for sure probably have some virtual safety car or safety car, so um, yeah. We'll try where we end. We'll, we'll try and see where we end up. But um, first of all, I'm just going to focus on myself. Have a good start. Have a clean start, and then see how turn one and especially the hairpin, the Fairmont Hotel, is going to be because it's going to be busy. But um, yeah, it's beautiful, huh? Bobby. What do you think? <laughs> the beach and we just had dinner um, so today uh, we had race one I started from the second last row <laughs> and we finished P23 gained some positions but in the end actually we all expected that it will be a messy race but in the end it was not a messy race so not many things happened overtaking was not possible so yeah it's just a train of F3 cars driving behind each other here in Monaco but still you know the track is insane and the amount of fans today were crazy. Um, I then had to commentate some stuff for Sky Germany um, and we were like on a yacht with like a F40 on the car, so uh, on the car, on the boat, so super crazy but super nice. And yeah, just had dinner. And by the way, I just wanted to show you this with my helmet. Jan is gonna put like a car, por uh, car porn, a helmet porn in now. <laughs> what, what will I do? A helmet porn, so bam. Um, but yeah, actually, I, I love it. I mean, it's by Bell again, the helmet, and they also made all the screws and so on in purple, and also the interior is in purple, so super nice. And then obviously the painting is by Gota Designs from Spain. They're super good if you want to paint your helmet. And then I got a new helmet sponsor, so Spare Parts Now um, is a new sponsor from my, from me, from mine, from now onwards. So um, yeah. The logo fits perfectly with the red and I got my star again. So love the helmet actually. And um, yeah, 
Bam, with a purple visor. So I did a Q&A on Instagram, just gonna answer some question about Monica no? That no, now. <laughs> so, um, how do you feel driving so close to the wall? Actually, I love it. I always, like my first street circuit I raced on was Macau in 2018. And I enjoyed it a lot and I still enjoy street circuits. They are so special and so different compared to normal race tracks, to permanent race tracks. So um, yeah, Monaco is a lot of fun. It's not that quick. The only quick section is the swimming pool area. Um, but yeah, you know, street circuits are always special and it's insane. You have to be so much more focused and so much more confidence for with the car to actually be quick here. So yeah. So next question, why didn't you get the Alpine livery early in the season? So it was actually just not possible logistic wise because the car was always either in Berlin, in Bahrain because of the test days and then it actually stayed there for the race weekend. And for Bahrain it, got, it went directly on the plane to go to Melbourne. So it was not possible for the sticker man from the team to actually go to Melbourne, for example, just to do my livery. Um, and then, yeah, over the test days, there was just no real need for it. So we all said for the first European round, which was supposed to be Emola, we will have the full BWT Alpine Academy livery. And the car looks insane. I think it's actually one of the best looking cars I ever had, especially in Formula. How does Monaco rank the list of best tracks to drive? Um, for sure, pretty high. I think in general, street circuits are always, or at least for me, pretty high ranked. I would still rank Macau higher because it's a lot quicker and a lot, like you have to be even more focused just because of the high speeds you're doing, especially in the city center or like city section. So um, I would say Macau is still over Monaco. Um, for sure, Le Mans and Rapporing are also in the game, but yeah, Monaco is just legendary historically. It's insane, like just the whole event. So um, yeah, it's for sure on the top three. Favorite corner and least favorite or tricky corner. So my favorite corner or corner section is actually the one after the tunnel, you know, when you, so turn 10, when you break for after the tunnel, you know, it's dark and then you go to the light and then you have this left, right, right, left section. So that's actually my favorite corner just because I'm actually pretty good at braking and then, yeah, I was just quick there. And then uh, my least favorite corner is probably the last corner, just because you have like this little dip on the apex, which makes the car rotate and sometimes it makes it rotate a little bit too much, but then the corner kind of closes because the wall is coming. So uh, yeah, that's probably the least favorite corner around Monaco. Last question, what do you do in the evenings in Monaco or at Monaco? So actually, because we are always in the car pretty early here in Monaco, people then think, yeah, I'm not, I don't have anything to do for the rest of the day, but that's actually not true. So we have meetings for many hours afterwards. We go through everything with the engineers. And then I always had to go to the, or have, or I'm allowed to go to the F1 paddock because of commentating Sky Germany and Alpine uh, things I had to do. And in the evenings, we always went to dinner. So Jan behind the camera, my dad, and me, uh, we mostly actually went here to I think La Voto Beach or so it's called and we had dinner um, and it's actually super nice I mean we are at the sea in Monaco so obviously we try to be here and um, yeah had some nice mozzarella sticks where Jan also took a sexy picture so um, yeah that's kind of what we did in the evening and now I'm actually gonna go to bed because our race is at 8 a.m. tomorrow morning on Sunday, so we're gonna wake up the whole Monaco and um, some people might probably get back from the club at that time because I have to be on track at 6 a.m. in the morning. So happy Sunday and I will see you guys in seven hours or eight hours, so bam. Running through the last of my thoughts Standing on the edge of my chance Everything I know will be gone in a minute And that's alright Running through the last of my thoughts Standing on the edge of my chance Everything I know will be gone in a minute And that's alright So that's it with the Sunday race and the Sunday in general It's 9.20 and we're really done I woke up at 5 a.m. We had to race at 8 a.m. I think we woke up whole Monaco. Um, this means 27 laps around Monaco. It's blue and red and swollen and it hurts quite a lot. Um, but yeah, we actually had to start from pit lane because we got disqualified yesterday 
for um, yeah, you know, in a free you are just about to have a limited limited people inside of the team, um, and yeah, they miscalculated. So the team got disqualified. We just have a pit lane, but um, yeah, you know, finished 23 from coming from last. So in some positions, but in the end, Monaco is impossible to overtake. So um, yeah, gonna pack now, um, wash everything, go I'll drive back home today, and then I will fly to Berlin tomorrow for the premiere of Transformers and then go to Barcelona on Wednesday, so I'll see you in Barcelona again. And um, yeah, I'm really excited to watch F1 days and to see which celebrities are here and so on, because it's going to be pretty busy. So thanks for tuning in. Um, it's been busy here, super busy like Monaco, and not so nice to show you around because we're like on the other side of Monaco, kind of. So Barcelona will be a little better, and then you can actually write us in the comments what you want to see and what you want to know, because we don't really know what you want to know. So write us, and we will try to do this in Barcelona. Peace out.